Hey everybody, it's Matt Kramer, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to use Vulcan 7. We're gonna go through the basic features, how to use the dialer, and how to get started in under five minutes if you just purchased the system. Now, if you haven't purchased it yet, go ahead and check the description below because there's a link where you can get a $49 two-week trial, including three months of old expireds and one month of old Fizbos. With that, let's get started. All right, so there we are. I am down here in the corner of the screen and I wanna show you what you see when you log into Vulcan 7. This is the home screen. It's got some information, it's got your snapshot, your tasks due, your appointments for today, all that fun stuff is here. But if you're jumping in, chances are you're just looking to dial. So what do we need to do? Well, first we need to make sure we are all set up. So we're gonna to go to my account. We're gonna to go to dialer settings, all right. These are the settings that I recommend that you use when you're getting started. As you get started, you get a little bit more comfortable with the dialer. You're gonna be able to make some assessments and judgments on your own and see what you like and what you don't. So ringing, I prefer to use this. That way when someone is on the other end of the phone, I'm hearing ringing until they answer. And if they don't, it goes to their voicemail, whatever. But with the, the quiet, you hear nothing and then it connects you. And when it connects you, you know, in, in Mojo and other dialers, there's sometimes is a, a slight delay. Um, I actually have not used it without the ringing on this one, so I don't know that there's no delay, but I don't take the risk, right? Because I know ringing has no delay and that's what I like. Um, otherwise, you end up with that call center situation that like those spam callers that'll call you have where you answer the phone, you're like, hello, and they're like, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then they go, hello, is this Mr.? And you're like, nope, it's spam, boom, done. So you don't want that. I recommend using ringing. Ringing duration, I like to use 40 seconds. And the reason being, because we're not gonna sit there for a minute and a half waiting to see if they have a voicemail that we can leave or whatever. So 40 seconds gives them adequate time to answer the phone. If they don't answer the phone in that time, you know, I'm on to the next one. Uh, automatic email delivery, this is up to you if you have that set up or not. I personally do not. Remove duplicate numbers in session. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so here's the reason. When Vulcan 7 goes in, they grab the house information, right? They grab the owner information and they try to find the phone numbers for the people that have lived there, currently lived there, family members of those people, whatever. They're trying to get you the correct data. Occasionally, you'll end up with somebody's information and the work, business, home, cell, whatever, will all be the same number because however the information was collected, at some point, that was what they had. This was their work, this was their home, this was their cell whatever. So if you don't remove that, then when you get off that line and they didn't answer the first one, you're going to call the same number again. And if they don't answer the second time, you're going to call the same number again. So you might end up calling this person three times in a row trying to get to them, right? And that's not what you want to do. I like using the yes, remove duplicates. That way I'm only calling each number one time. Uh, show username in note timestamps. No, hide that. I mean, unless you're on a team, right, or you plan on building a team, then yes, you'd wanna do that so that that is out there uh, for the future people that might be using this system. But if it's just you, I just had it on no. Uh, not a big deal either way. Call outcomes, you don't have to worry about that. They're pretty much all set. Voicemail library, if you are doing a voicemail, um, I do recommend that you have those ready. Basically, you go in here, you use your phone, you call in, put the pin number, and then you name the voicemail, boom you're good, right? Or actually when you do that, uh, it'll upload in here and then you get to name it. So then we have call recording. If you have that on, yes or no. Caller ID, this is a good one. You wanna make sure that you are putting in whatever caller ID you want them to see and call back. So I would not recommend using your cell phone number because they call you on Friday night, seven o'clock, you're out with the family and you have no idea who it is, right? Because you're calling hundreds of people. So set up a Google voice number, set up a digital number with whatever cell phone provider you have, um, set something else up. So they're seeing that number, they're calling that number, you know this is somebody that I cold called on the other line. And if you wanted, you could even go as far to have a specific number for expireds, have a specific number for, for sale by owners, and so on. And then you know what you're saying as soon as you see the caller ID showing, oh, it's an expired call, oh, it's a, for sale by owner call, right? You know who you're dealing with when they call you back. Uh, blacklist, don't worry about that yet. We shouldn't need to blacklist too many numbers uh, until later <laughs> as you slowly remove them from the system. Phone scripts, up to you if you want those. I personally don't use my scripts 
in the system. I like to have them right here in front of me. Uh, but with that, those are basically the settings that you need to get going in order to get started. So once we have that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go into contacts. We've gotta go into off market property. It's gonna be our new expired listings. When we get there, we're gonna select how many people we wanna call, right? So you can sort it by 25, you can go all the way up to 500. Um, but let's say we're gonna do 50, right? 50, we select that, boom, we begin our dialing session. And now what's gonna happen is we're gonna to get to choose. Phone script, do we want one? No, I don't, again, I like them in front of me. It's up to you. Dialing set, default dialing set, live answer set, uh, default live answer set, recording, it's up to you. I personally don't leave voicemails. I've got some recorded from when I did try it. Not my favorite thing. I'd rather have somebody call back and not know why I called than I listen to my voicemail, go, oh, it's another realtor and not give me the chance to sell them. So I don't use the voicemail. Caller ID, select whichever one you're gonna use then. And then dialer mode, standard. So dialer mode, if you're calling through your follow-ups, you may use pause and preview. I personally don't use that. Um, just I've gotten used to standard, but definitely use standard whenever you're calling new expireds for sale by owners, stuff like that. The pause and preview, the real value you get from that, in my opinion, is being able to read the notes prior. Um, if you're dealing with somebody that you've already spoken with and you wanna improve their rapport and so on. National DNC, obviously we do not call those numbers. Agree to terms, continue, boom. So you do that. It's gonna give you a number, you call the number, you enter the pin, you click go, right? It's gonna load up and it'll click go and you will be off to the races, dialing. Now, when you get in, you're gonna be able to make notes as you go, right? So you can enter notes like did not uh, answer. Actually, that'll be a button for you. So you can just click the button that says do not answer. Um, but let's say you spoke to him. Great call, wants to talk in three months, boom. Next, you go to the next one. So another thing you can do here when you pull this up is you can actually click the Zillow button, the Trulio button, stuff like that. It's gonna pull up the information on the house. It's gonna show you, okay, this is the house. Here are the pictures. You're gonna have all that in front of you just in case you don't have the MLS pulled up right away and you're not switching it off or switching over right away. Uh, because If you do have the MLS number or MLS up and you get into a conversation, you just copy that MLS number, boom, enter it into your uh, your MLS, search it, you got all the information, you can go through that. But I like to just pull it up with Zillow, it's really quick and it's got most of the information that I actually need. Now, Vulcan 7 has recently updated a ton of other features, giving you a ton of other opportunities and things that you can do within Vulcan 7. Me personally, I use it mainly as a dialer. Um, and I recommend that while you're getting started, focus on using it as a dialer. Now there are tags, there are different things that we can use inside of that. I'm gonna get into more of the advanced stuff on another video where we're talking about how to structure your CRM, how to set up all your folders so you never miss a follow-up, all that fun stuff. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that one. Um, other than that, I mean, that's basically how you get up and running. So if this was helpful, go ahead. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next or if it was helpful for you. Uh, and also be sure to like the video and subscribe. And with that, I wish you the best of luck in your dialing sessions and I hope to see you back here soon.